This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with a killer trick for converting an image to text. In this case, we're looking at a picture of a PowerPoint table. This question came from Pierre. I'm a Nuts and Bolts member, and he remembers something about extracting text from text boxes. But actually, after some back and forth, in this case, what Pierre was trying to do is something a lot harder. Here's an example of something Pierre sent. This is just a picture from slide model of a picture of a table, and it's actually a picture of a slide with a table in it. And the question is, if your boss, client, or colleague sent this to you, how do you get all of this information out of the picture of a table into a normal table without retyping all of this text manually? So retyping text is the repetitive and annoying task, what I often refer to as rats, that we want to avoid in this case being a copy and paste or typing machine to help get you to happy hour. And I'll show you exactly how to do that in this video. But first, if you want to support the channel and learn everything there is to know about PowerPoint, check out our PowerPoint Pro membership in the description box below. So let's dive into converting an image to text using this PowerPoint table example. And we're gonna use what I call the three amigos technique. That's PowerPoint to Word, Word to Excel, and Excel back to PowerPoint. So this is a combination technique, and here are the steps before I actually do them for you. We're gonna paste our picture into Word as a PNG. This is critical to making this work. We're gonna convert Word into a PDF, and then we're immediately gonna convert that PDF back into Microsoft Word. Now, this in and of itself is a killer trick if you don't already know it. We're then going to paste our new table into Excel to double check the numbers, and then we're gonna move from Excel back to PowerPoint, which is where we originally started, and I'm gonna be using the Save As, the F12 shortcut, and the Control plus F12 shortcut in Word to speed this process up. So let me show you exactly how to do this. Here is the picture of a table that Pierre sent me. You can see the picture format tab of my ribbon. I'm gonna control C to copy this picture. I'm gonna hit the Windows key, type Word, just to open up a blank Word document. And don't worry, I'll do this a couple of times if you miss it the first time through. So here in a blank Word document, I'm gonna paste the special. You can do that from the Home tab, paste drop down, paste specials right there, or the keyboard shortcut, Alt Control V or Control Alt V. You wanna choose the PNG file format. Don't be tempted by Microsoft Office graphic object or any of this other stuff. So choose PNG, click OK. I get a picture of my picture in Word now. I'm gonna resize it to fit my Word document. I'm gonna save this as a PDF, so F12 for the Save As dialog box. I'll choose a destination. I'm gonna name this Table 1. And then for Save As type, I'm gonna open up that drop down and simply select PDF file format, click Save. Word goes to work, and then it shows me my PDF file. I'm immediately gonna close that PDF file and immediately convert it back the other way. So Control F12 to open the Open As dialog box. There's table one, I'm gonna click OK. Word goes to work, click OK. And there you can see, kaboom, my picture of a table back as a table here in Word. Table Design tab, the Layout tab. I'm gonna Control C to copy this table. I'm gonna go find my Excel document. I'll show you an example of this in a second. And I'm just gonna control V to paste into Microsoft Excel. Now at this point, I recommend double checking your information, looking for uh, ones that could be I's or zeros that could be uh, O's. In this case, uh, Word's pretty good at this. I'm just gonna control C to copy this. I'm going to go find PowerPoint, control M for new slide, control V to paste it in. And there you see the table design tab. And you can check out my other video from moving from Excel to PowerPoint if you want to learn more about what I recommend doing and what I recommend not doing. So let me do this a second time and show you what someone might do to you. So I'm going to go find that Excel file again. I'll come to the Apple revenue sheet. So here's what someone might do to you. They're going to Control C to copy their Excel data. They're going to Alt tab over to PowerPoint. They're going to Control Alt V to paste special. And they're going to paste it as one of these picture formats. So here again, is a picture of a table that we don't want to retype. And this is a small table in this case, but just imagine this had rows and rows or a ton more columns. And you can see the picture format tab up my ribbon. So I'm going to Control C to copy this. I'm gonna again hit the Windows key, type Word, just to get a blank document. I'm gonna Control Alt V to paste special. There's the PNG, I'll click OK. There's my uh, picture, I don't have to resize it this time because it already fits on the in the Word document. F12, desktop, let's call this table two. I'm gonna change the save as type to a PDF. Click save. I'm gonna get a PDF of that picture. I'm gonna close it. 
I'm gonna control F12 for the open as dialog box. There's table two, click open, say yes, convert it for me please. And there is, now I get the text up top from the, from the PDF and then I actually have that table. This time I'm not gonna take it to Excel, you can do that on your own. I'm just going to go find PowerPoint, control M, control V to paste that in. And again, check out my other video on moving from Excel to PowerPoint if you want some of my recommendations for doing this. So this again are the steps to take. So pasting is a picture, PDF, PDF back to Word, check your numbers in Excel, and then paste your table back into PowerPoint. But let me now quickly show you when this doesn't work and some of the quick fixes you can use to um, get by this. So the first thing to look out for um, when you're doing this is you're looking for each column to have a title in it. Notice here on the left, I'm missing a title. So how do you convert a table that doesn't have a column title for each one? So let me walk through an example of how you can do this and break this up using the draw table feature in Word, which is cool if you've never um, seen it. I'll discard my ink. So here is a picture of a table. Again, there's no column heading here, so this is actually gonna mess it up, and I just wanna show you what this looks like. So I'll hit the Windows key, type Word, I'm gonna open a blank Word document. Do this again, Control V to paste special, PNG, click OK, it fits, F12 for save as. There's my desktop. I'm gonna just choose PDF. We'll call this table three, just to keep it sequential. I hit escape, that was a mistake. Desktop, table three, save as PDF. Click save. I'm gonna get a PDF of that document. I'm gonna close it. Control F12, open as dialog box. Table three, click open. Yes, and boom, kind of. So we have this little blue line here, which is the, the title. And then notice, here's the problem in this case. This is a table, but it's a single column table, which is not what we want. We don't want to have to copy and paste the years and the numbers. So what do you do, or what you can do here in Word, this works better in Word, I've tested in the other programs. You're simply going to come up to the Table Layout tab. You're gonna to come to Draw Table. Now when you do this, you need to make sure you, you line this up perfectly. So you're gonna draw a table, and you're just going to draw this down, straight down, and boom. I don't know why it didn't resize there, and I'll hit Escape. So notice that I went from a single column to the double column. This is now something, Control-C to copy. We can go back to PowerPoint, Control-V to paste. There's that table, and again, check out my Excel to Word. I'll double uh, select it all so you can see that column. So that's one way to do that using the draw table feature. I should move that. Draw table feature in Word if, and this is the key, if you don't have a column on top of each, or you don't have a title on top of each column. The next thing to look out for is grid lines. Notice these are the exact same tables, but this one has the grid lines turned on. This has the grid lines turned off. These grid lines will wig out this PDF or image to text conversion process. So what you need to do in this case is you need to just insert some lines. You can use the Control D to duplicate shortcut and you just make these white. All right, so you just format these white to kind of scrub out the lines so it looks like this copy the entire thing and then walk through those steps again and that should then work for you. The next thing you wanna definitely make sure of when this doesn't work is you need to paste it as a PNG. Do not be tempted by this Microsoft Office object, the Windows Meta file. Um, JPEG should probably work, but I wouldn't even test that. Um, every time I've used the PNG, this trick works. So if you try this trick, you follow this video and it doesn't work, go back and make sure you are using a PNG file format. And the last thing that will crash this is if you do not use a blank document. You need to use a blank Word document. You don't want a title at the top, then paste in your picture, then convert to the PDF, et cetera. You want a completely blank Word document, which is why I was using the Windows key to open the search, typing Word, and then hitting Enter, which is one of the best Windows 10 shortcuts. And you can check out some of my other favorite Windows 10 shortcuts in my other video here on YouTube. So that is converting an image to text. In this case, Pierre sent me a picture of a PowerPoint table and how to do that using the three amigos techniques. So PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. If you too have a question about PowerPoint you want me to answer live here on YouTube, leave your question in the comment section below and I will add it to my list. And if you wanna support the channel and learn everything there is to know about PowerPoint, check out our PowerPoint Pro membership in the description box below. 
This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.